Hey guys, welcome back to the channel once again. I'm Robert Storms. I'm Adam J. This motherfucker right mm -hmm. here. Uh, so Resident Evil 3 came out Friday, Thursday at midnight, well, which is technically Friday. Yeah. yeah. But uh, <laughs> we both played it. We both beat it. Uh, we're going to give you our review on it. Honestly, I've been anticipating this for a while, especially after the remake of 2 blew me away. I absolutely love that game. It's one of my favorites in the series. Um, that being said, I still think the original Resident Evil 2 was better, if only because the A and B scenarios actually match up in that one. Uh, in this one, they don't, in the remake of 2. But, uh, going into 3, I was like, okay, they, they've got to change some things around. They're definitely, they, they have to make this feel new. They, if they're going to remake it, they have to justify it. I felt 2 did that very well, by updating a lot of things and, uh, and shifting certain story elements around. All right. With 3, I think they did a great job. I have some issues with it. Um, not anything that major, but, um, you know, I'm going to just get the negatives out of the way first. Probably okay. best. Yeah, probably best, you know, and then I can go phrasing it. Yeah. Okay. The first big issue, the first issue I have with this game is Nikolai. Nikolai went, oh. fr Nikolai went from... He had subtlety in the original game. Here, he's a Saturday morning cartoon villain. Like, the, the second you see him, you, you just know he's the bad guy. And uh, he, Nikolai didn't really come across that way in the original. Like, you never got the sense that he was the bad guy until, like, the second half of the game. There is literally a scene in this where he uh, abandons Jill on a train, and I'm like, okay, you ripped that off wholesale from Aliens. <laughs> but, you know, if you're looking for inspiration for horror, Aliens ain't a bad place to go. Um... In terms of Nemesis's evolutions, I felt that they evolved him too soon in the game. Really? Like, well, yeah, like, honestly, I didn't see a reason uh, for him to evolve, because, like, we didn't see the classic Nemesis all that much. We only saw him, like, in the beginning, and then he just evolved, like, not even halfway through. But the game is not that long. long. Yeah, that's, a, that's an issue I have with it, is I felt like they could have added more to make this longer. Um... Personally, I don't mind the way they portray Nemesis as the cutscenes. Yeah. You know, as the quick time events. I did not mind that at all because I felt like that was something new that they had to do to justify this move, this existence. Yeah. Um, they did something very new with Nemesis, which I thought was very creative. Um, in terms of, yeah, well, he's not stalking you around like he is in the original game. I'm like, yeah, but we already just had that with Mr. X in Resident Evil 2. All right. So this is something different. It's not the same thing again, just with a bigger monster. But All right, when, when he like does, that. but when he does come after you, dude, you fucking yeah. piss your pants. Yeah, you kind of do. Um, and uh, the reason that really doesn't bother me that they changed it was because it, in the original, um, in this, the, the choice uh, sections are gone. Like you can't choose to fight Nemesis right, or yeah, walk away yeah, in this yeah. one. Okay, when you fight him, it's a scripted scene. You absolutely have to either. Yeah. It tells you run from the grenade launcher or fight him. Yeah, you know, it's very easy. Um, the issue, uh, the reason that doesn't bother me is because in the original, I always chose to fight him anyway. Not me. Because the thing is, no, the thing is, if you don't fight him, okay, he's going to be stalking your ass more throughout the game. All right, that's the issue. So I'm like, okay, do I just fight him now and just get the anxiety over with, or do I let that anxiety spread throughout the entire game? So, uh, it does, it didn't really bother me that they did that. I understand that it will bother some fans. Um... I thought Jill was beautifully updated. I loved Jill in this game. Um, but the biggest surprise to me was they made me love Carlos. Mm. Okay? Anyone who knows me as a Resident Evil fan will tell you, I fucking hate Carlos in the original game. He is the most useless motherfucker. I can't stand him. And, he, and, and that wouldn't bother me so much if he wasn't annoying. Yeah. The voice actor playing him was beyond irritating in the original. Here, he's a badass. Like, like they overhauled him in, yeah. in a way that I just loved. I loved the gameplay. I, I really wish um, we had... Like, there's a lot of ammunition that you get in this, okay? But there were bigger upgrades. There were better upgrades in the original, I felt. There's in terms of the weapon. There, there are some upgrades in this, okay? But in terms, um, in terms of just the weapons and the amount of ammo you get, I felt like the original did a better job of that. Uh, especially with the ammo crafting system that you had. Um, if you beat it enough times, you know I said like the points, yeah, you buy yeah, shit. Yeah. Okay, you can get this, um, it, you get the ammo crafting tool yeah. from the original game. 
and it apparently um, not only gives you more ammo, but upgrades it. Mm. So that's interesting. Again, I have my I have my issues with the game, but I still think it's very fun. I think it's a little too short, but it's a very solid entry in this series. Um, I will say this: um, in terms of gameplay, I don't think uh, it's hard to say because like there are things about the original I like better. There are things about this I like a lot better. All right, so I can't really at this point until I beat this thing on hardcore. Or something like down the line like I cannot decide if I liked this or the original better for me it's very close because again hated Carlos in the original loved Carlos in this um, Jill I thought was a lot better in this than the original nemesis fights were a lot of fun and very creative actually um, the way that they did the the fights at first kind of bummed we didn't get to go inside the clock tower because that was that was a big part of the Everybody original keeps but, talking about but the no no no, no. Like, here's the thing everything else that they did more than made up for that I felt like they did enough new to make up for that. And here's the thing. This did not feel like it was a slave to the original. It took the concept of the original, Jill in Raccoon City, being chased by Nemesis, trying to survive with Carlos, and did something very unique with it. Overall, dude, uh, I loved the game. Um, I'll give my rating after you're done. Okay, but um, I love this game. It's one of... It's definitely top ten of the series for me. I, um... I do think, in all honesty, because I think because there's more options in it, I liked I liked Resident Evil 2 more. No. That's just that's for me. I enjoyed yeah. two more. Here's the thing though, you haven't beaten R2. I've beaten the original Resident Evil 2. Yeah, yeah, but you haven't beaten this. It doesn't matter. I played enough of it, I got bored with it. Wow. Yeah. I can't believe you got bored with that okay, game. Dude, I'm not the only one. I was talking to my brother today. My brother just beat Resident Evil 3. And he's like, dude, I love this so much more than Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2 was boring. I'm like, yeah, it was. So I'm going to piss a lot of people off with my review of Resident Probably. Evil 3. Probably, okay, fine. Um, I thought the game was... First of all, I'm not going to sit here like Adam and compare this to the original. I'm just not going to do it because I just think it's an unfair comparison. And I haven't played the original and beat the original since I was like 16. I'm 36 now. That's, that's 20 years ago. So I haven't played the original in years since I was in high school. So I'm not even going to compare the two because, I, I, to be honest, I don't even remember too much of the original. All I remember is the 160 turn that was in the original and the dodge, which I think they translated that over into the remake Very perfectly. Well. They did. Um, so th this is where I'm going to piss people off quite a bit. And you should know this by my channel anyway because I keep it real. Um... I think the game is phenomenal. Uh, I and I'm not. I'm, this is not throwing shade at you. This is throwing shade at everybody who says these things. Um, the fact that the game was only six and a half, seven hours, I thought was perfect. I am so fucking tired of playing these ten to fifteen hour games. I am literally still playing Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and the game came out fucking months ago. I am tired of surrendering my <laughs> life away to these fucking games, like. Like, when I get Final Fantasy VII Remake in a week or so, I understand that game's going to take me 50 hours. It's an RPG. I know what I'm signing up for. But I am tired of getting these single-player type games that are fucking 10 to 15. Metal Gear Solid V is the most waste of a time of playing a game I have ever played in my entire life. <laughs> I literally, I loved it so much better when I went in at Snake in Metal yeah. Gear Solid. I Played through my campaign, and I went on with my business. I am so sick of this. Oh, I got to go get this shit. Craft this shit. Do that. I just give me the fucking game. Let me get from point A to point B and beat the fucking game and let me have fun with the fucking game. This game had everything that I wanted. It had awesome opening cutscene with, with the live action like he mentioned. Awesome. The fact that we get Jill, and then she does like this bad, like soon we get introduced to the nemesis, and there's this whole car sequence. Like, all that kicked ass. And it gets you pumped up and ready for the game. Something that I like, he, he also mentioned like the alien reference. I thought this was a Superman, Death of Superman reference, where the nemesis comes in, he's like all in this, this suit. And then slowly as he's going after Jill, part of the suit kind of breaks away, which happens to Doomsday in the comic. Mm -hmm. He's in this containment suit, and then slowly you start to see where he starts to get revealed. I love that. The overhaul of Jill, like you said, I thought was fantastic. Carlos, fantastic. Mm -hmm. The fact that people are like, I have to pay $60 for a five-hour campaign. I'm sorry. 
I don't want to spend my whole life playing the same game. You can do what he's doing. Play it multiple times to try to get 100 in the game. Try to go for the platinum. Okay, you can do that. There's unlockables to get you to replay it again. I think we need more games like that. Of course, I don't want a game that's two hours, but I think a good campaign is anywhere between five and eight hours. That's a perfect length for a campaign. So I won't compare this game to the original Resident Evil 3, because like I said, it was like 20 years since I played that. I will compare it to the recent Resident Evil, which is also a remake. So it actually uh, makes sense for me to compare these two. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I think there is, much like Resident Evil 4, I feel is being extremely overrated by the fan base. I feel like there's too much nostalgia for Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2 Remake was a fantastic game. However, when Adam moved in, he seen I didn't even complete the game. I was still in the police station. You know why? Because I got bored with it. I'm tired of doing, oh, let me go do this puzzle. Oh, let me backtrack and do this puzzle. And the reason why I liked Resident Evil 3 Remake more, it felt, if it, it had the puzzles, but it felt more linear. I knew what I was doing the entire time in the game. I didn't get sidetracked to go do this fucking puzzle and this puzzle. It felt like a modern day game. It was short. The cussings were fantastic. The nemesis chased you, scared the shit out of you. But I also liked the fact that the nemesis was incorporated in cussing because that also makes the game feel cooler. Like, like when you're doing something, the nemesis just shows up and you get this badass cussing. It lets me go, take a drink. Like, oh, this is fucking awesome. Let me just fucking... And then when I'm running back after turning all the computers on and nemesis just hunts me down, that, it made me shit my pants. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, so I think the incorporation of nemesis was awesome. The Nikolai thing, I get your, what you're saying. Yeah. But to be, awesome, to, be, to be fair, Wesker was the same way. Let me touch upon what you were saying about, you know, because you're sick of doing the puzzles and, and yeah, shit. Like, yeah. like, no, no, I understand that. Okay, see, me, I like doing the puzzles. Okay, so, like, that's where me and you differ. Okay, you'd rather go through, like, the action scene, just get through the game and kick some ass. Well, I, like, I, am I right? Well, sort of. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, like, I don't mind doing puzzles because, okay. It, well, it depends what you're into. That's what I'm getting at. No, no, no. Uh, you're a PlayStation guy. I don't know if you ever played these games, but Uncharted. I have never, no. Okay, Uncharted... Heard great things. Uncharted is an action game, much like a Resident Evil. You know, much like the modern Resident Evil, it, it's like an action game. But there is a lot of puzzles in that game. A lot of puzzles. Uh, even the new Star Wars game, the Force, uh, what, the Fallen Order, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. A lot of puzzles in that game. But it doesn't get to the point where I have to backtrack a million times to get this piece, go all the way across the fucking map, put the piece in, go all the way back. You know, because Resident Evil, this, this one feels very linear when I backtrack it's mostly for a purpose I don't have to do it multiple times unless I choose to to get like a weapon upgrade or something. Um, Uncharted like the puzzles there you gotta figure it out. I'm fine with the puzzle. I'm more upset with the backtracking. That's why I should have said. Not the puzzles, but the Oh, okay, okay. Fair Not, enough. Yeah. Uh, I felt like Resident Evil 2. I can see where that would be tedious for some, so I, I get it. Yeah, that, that's why I don't play the first Resident Evil all that much. Re the first Resident Evil is actually was my favorite until 3 came out. I remember being 13 when that game came out, and I was like, oh, this is my shit. This was before I played Metal Gear. Resident Evil was, was the first franchise I ever got into. I was introduced to it before Final Fantasy and before Metal Gear and before Halo. Nice. Um, so I was very much into the first Resident Evil game, but back then I had more time to do all that shit. Yeah. You know? When you were a kid, you were Yeah, I would rent it from Blockbuster, save it, then go back the next weekend and pick up where I left off. Um, but to me, I don't want to keep backtracking a million fucking times to do something. It's like, let me go on my merry way and go. See, you got Resident Evil 2 down to a science. You I can, do. You can do yeah. everything in like under two hours yeah. to, to where I'm not that way. I like the game. I think the gameplay is good. But I feel like they could have upgraded Resident Evil 2 more. I, like, I understand it's a remake, but I even said this to you. Why isn't there a fucking dodge button in Resident Evil 2? You're, you're upgrading this. There isn't in the original either. That's why. That's my point. It's upgraded to a modern game now. If you're going to remake it, you can add new stuff to it. You can add a dodge button. The fact that there is no dodge button in Resident Evil 2 does bother me. We have the dodge button in Resident Evil 3. Granted, the original also had it too. But I take advantage of it. I can all, like If you guys go back and watch my live stream, I get almost perfect dodges every single time. And I feel like with Resident Evil 2, they were trying so hard to upgrade it, but keep it to the original not to piss people off. Instead of the dodge... Um, they did, um, the first Resident Evil remake did, which is the, um, defense weapons. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you could shove in a grenade, yeah. shove in, um, a knife, 
shove in a flashbang. Um, they did that instead of a dodge. Yeah, and, and don't get me wrong. By no means do I hate Resident Evil 2 Remake. I love that. Uh, I love that game. But Resident Evil 2, the original, is the one Resident Evil I beat multiple times because I always played it on a range mode where I had, like, infinite chain gun. So I kind of cheesed my way through it. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I kind of have more of a fond memory for the original Resident Evil 2. I just feel like when they upgraded it to the remake, they didn't take advantage of all the capabilities that they could have. And I kind of got bored with the game. No, no. With that, I will give you because, again, like I said, the A and B scenarios don't match up. Yeah. I really wish... Um, I really wish... Here's what they should have done. Okay, they should have just uh, kept out in the remake. They should have kept out the second runs altogether. Okay? Made of one big-ass campaign. But, but, yeah, not only that, but you could choose either character, and no matter which one you choose, like, their stories will yeah. coincide. Okay, here, unfortunately, they didn't. I'm not throwing shade at 3, at the, the remake. I'm like, not I, I absolutely are. loved it. I had such a great time. Like, I even posted on Facebook... What was six it? and a half? S six and a half hours of my life beating this for the first time, and now there's only time left to say life well spent. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. so I, I was so happy uh, when I got through it. Um, I, I was not displeased. Um, again, the gripes I have are minor, but they don't ruin the game experience for me. Well, okay, and again, these are just these are just slight gripes as a fan. That, that's it. Yeah. Okay, they're not offenses against the game or offenses against friggin' humanity. Okay, they're just minor little gripes I have as a fan. Yeah. But, that being said, it did enough new to where I can differentiate this from the original yeah. and just take it as its own game. And as its own game, not only is it a great game, but it's a great sequel to that remake. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that, it, like, it coincides perfectly yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I give this a 9. Like, again, I have my minor complaints, but they're just my minor complaints. If I had, um, so I, I'm, um, I'm with you, I give it a 9. Yeah, this one actually feels like a perfect companion piece. Like, you could run, you could uh, play the uh, remake of 1, remake of 2, remake of 3, and you get a perfect trilogy. And that, that's the, that's what I love the most about it. Yeah. That's what it I caps, love the most It caps about off it. the Raccoon City story yep. so brilliantly. Anyway, guys, tell us what you think. Have you played it yet? What are some of your complaints or positive thoughts on the game? Um. I also do not go with the whole theory of this just feels like an expansion. No, it, no, 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 no. You don't know what a DLC expansion is, then no. we, that's what you think. But anyway, guys, uh, that's all we got. Any final words before we end it? Um, No, that was it. All right, guys, so be sure to leave your comments, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, as always, I am Robert Storms. That's my opinion.